I'm gonna just make us some old fashioned fried potatoes. I have not done fried potatoes for so long. Get hungry for them every once in a while. Now my mom would have made them with some bacon drippings and I suppose in the past I would have too. But I don't save my bacon drippings anymore. Feeling like we just don't need them. We both are trying to watch our fats, cholesterol. So I don't have any bacon drippings and I'm only going to make two potatoes here because there's just the two of us and so for now I've got my iron skillet here and I have it heating up I have a little bit of olive oil in it several tablespoons of olive oil and put these onions into it let them cook a little bit brown a little bit and then I'm going to put some onion in with them. We have some fresh onions out of our garden so I want to use one of those onions. Put some onion in it and before they're done I'll put some bacon bits in it and we'll just have a little bit of homemade old-fashioned pota fried potatoes. Now my mom would do this often with six kids at home. Probably was an inexpensive dish for her to fix. So we had that often. I'm gonna let that oil heat up and I'll come back. Okay, I did go ahead and cut up one more little potato. I had three potatoes and I figured why not use that last little one? So I did, so there's three little potatoes here. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the frying pan. Let those get started frying. Okay, we'll let that heat up more and get those frying real good before I put the onion in. I don't like to put it in too soon or it ends up burning. The potatoes are starting to brown up. Still got a ways to go, of course. But keep turning them. These are browning up nicely, so I'm going to go ahead and put some onions in. I'm just going to put them in like this. This is an onion we just took from the garden. And I want these to have a chance to cook also. But the potatoes are browning up nicely. I just, I keep right at it. I keep turning them. I don't want them to burn, but I want them done. Okay. Get those down in there too and let them get started. It has used up all of the oil I put in there. I'm going to put a little bit more olive oil in. I'm put a little bit of garlic powder. If you saw that or not, garlic powder. And a little bit of salt and pepper. Turn these down. So oh, those onions smell good cooking in there. way down because I don't want them to burn. Hey, our onions and potatoes are done. They look and smell very, very good. I'm going to go ahead and take them out and put them in a bowl so they don't get burned at all. tonight for supper with some crescent chicken bundles. I call them chicken bundles and they're made with crescent rolls. So, and they're in the oven. But we're having this with it. All right, there they are. I'll taste one here in a minute. I'm going to try a couple of these fried potatoes and onions. I fully intended to put bacon bits in here, and sometimes I do, but I forgot, and I'm not sure they needed it, so I'm going to try it and see. 
Mm. Those are really good. They don't need the bacon bits. They're good just like this. And the potatoes are done nicely. The onions are, onions aren't mushy and completely cooked away. They're just like perfect. So I hope you'll try it sometime. Thank you.